Welcome back. Hi. Today I'm bringing you a Christmas tutorial and it's a K-Beauty Christmas tutorial. So I'm partnering once again with Yes Style that you know I love. I've made actually three orders in Yes Style in the last month. And none of those were Black Friday, which I am killing myself about. But I absolutely adore their site. They have amazing K-Beauty brands and products. They also have like the cutest home section. But anyway, I'm gonna do a home makeup look with products that you can find on Yes Style. And all of them are going to be linked down below. These are all new products to me, although I know some of the brands, but let's get into it. I've already had my base on and my brows because I really just want to focus on the color products. I have my eyes primed, so we're going to start with this little palette. So this little cutie is the Shabam Shabam eyeshadow palette from Karingo. It's really cute and really sort of like a Christmas holiday quad almost that you can travel with. I don't think this is actually a holiday edition, but it looks very holiday-ish. I've never heard of this brand, Coringo, but the palette looks gorgeous and the foiled shadows really do look amazing. So I'm, I have like high expectations. I've just now realized that I didn't turn off my heater. And so you can hear this, right? Yeah. Hopefully that's better sound quality. So I'm gonna just first go in this lightest nude shade and just go a little bit like with a fluffy big brush a little bit all over my eyes wow even this nudie color it's quite pigmented i don't know if i want to do a whole like smoky red eye which would be really cute or like a smoked liner wing liner yeah i think i'm gonna do that that's also really cute and i can use more of the colors i'm gonna pick up this little tiny brush you know, I'm gonna go right into this one, into the red one, which is shimmery. Does have a little bit of fallout. So be careful about that, but I didn't tap it out actually. So that's my fault a little bit. Such a pretty color, oh my God. We're gonna smoke it out so it doesn't have to be perfect at first. I'm just gonna do like the outline. Okay, so with a fluffier brush, I'm just gonna go in this end and drag it back here a little at the top. As it is a shimmer brush, a shimmer shadow, does sheer out a little bit, which is good because you can work on it. I do have like a lot of fallout that I'm gonna have to clean. So that's fine. I'm gonna just pack it a little just so we can get the metallic red. And I'm gonna go now into this foiled little one here. I'm actually gonna use my finger for this and then just buff it out. I feel like this does have like a red shift as well. Definitely has a red shift. I just did this. That's what it looks like. So cute. You can pack it in a little bit and just like buff it out. I'm gonna mix these two just to do a sort of a darker under eye, a darker, what is this called? Lash line, okay, that's it. Pack that in a little bit in the other corner. With my pinky, I'm gonna go into this lightest foiled shade, which has no shift, it's just pure shimmer. And do the inner corner just a little bit. I've cleaned up a little and I'm just doing a little bit under eye with the metallic red and just connecting it to the rest. I've got two like colored cheek products and I don't know. Um, I love this and I want to use this, but I also have a, a red lipstick. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna go red all over, but before I go with a red blush, I'm gonna use the their like bronzy contour thing. 3CE blush cushion, and this is their shade Soft Brown. This is their only kind of like bronzy contour shade. So this is what it looks like inside. It has a little thingy. It isn't too warm. I wanna just give, like I don't wanna emphasize the bronze too much because I want the red to be the star of the show, but I also don't wanna be like super over the top red and so I do want to give a bit of warmness to my face 
This is a lot cuter than I was expecting. I don't know why I was expecting this to be not suitable to my shade, but it is. You can definitely build it up. So obviously if you're really dark, this is gonna do nothing for you, but if you're fair to medium, this is cute. As always, as a K-Beauty brand, it's not kind of tailored to dark skin tones, unfortunately, just yet. Just gonna do a little bit of the red. So this is the blush cushion in the shade Garlish Red. And I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna focus this more here on the apples on my cheek. That's so cute. And also because it is sort of like a liquid cream product, it does have a certain sheen to it. So it does sort of, if you like the dewy glow, this has that written all over. Oh, I love that. Look at that texture. Ooh, Marymont, I think that's what it's called. And this highlighter is called Love Beam. So it's a little hard. And this does have like a blue shift. And so I'm just gonna apply that with my fingers because I don't wanna mess up what I have already here. And it's like an unlikely friend pairing. They think it's gonna look cute. Aw, see? I really like this. On to lashes. I actually wanted to try their fake lashes for a long time because they're really affordable and they look really cute. And they're synthetic. Holy shit, the main instructions are in Portuguese also. <laughs> That's so weird. They're like in Brazilian, kind of broken Portuguese a little. I don't know the brand. I think this is like a brandless sort of thing. This is what they look like. I'm gonna link them down below. They come in like a packs of three. They're all the same. They are wispy like I like them. They're not too long. K-Beauty doesn't usually do long lashes. They're still like long. You know what I mean? Like they're long but they're not like excessively long. They are fluffy to the touch. They are honestly on pair with some of the most expensive eyelashes I own when you look at them. So let's apply them and see if they live up to the price and, and stuff. I never actually show you myself applying lashes because it's such a long process for me. I'm not very good at applying lashes. I usually do this so they're like flexible. So it's good if you do like stuff like this so that it really molds and breaks loose. So I want to measure them to make sure they're not too big for my eyes. I expect that they will be a little. I feel like, yeah, these are a little long for me. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of them. Okay. So I just take them like this. I take a little bit of lash glue. I find it easier to put it on my hand and then apply it to the lash. Because I find that it allows for smaller mistakes. So I take one of these little handles of the scissor and I dip it in the lash glue and then I go over here and I apply it to the lash band. So then I just wait a little, I flash it around. I very rarely get a lash down on first attempt and I almost always screw up my makeup and have to redo it on top. Wait until it's like tacky. Prepare to witness my failure. See? We've done shit already. Shit! I feel like I have a good placement, so I'm just gonna squeeze them with, together with my natural lashes. Do what you're told! Fall in line! Now, if you're doing a liner look, I believe that it's much easier to apply lashes because if it's a little wonky, the liner will hide it. But, as it is, this is as it was applied at first. It's not that bad, but the, the inner corner is sticking out. So I'm gonna just go back into my lash glue which is almost like tacky now by the way and just try to stick that in be careful because you don't want to mess your inner corner makeup so i'm going to clean that up apply the other lash it took a while but we're here honestly i did find the inner corners a little bit harder to stick to these otherwise and even then it might be me because i'm a noob Otherwise, are just as good as lashes that I have that cost like 20 pounds. And these cost all of them like, I don't even remember, it was five pounds max. Utterly impressed. I'm gonna finish this look with a red lipstick also. This is also from 3CE, Velvet Lip Tint. I have one of their Velvet Lip Tint in a nude shady. 
This is called Best Ever. So again, this is like a red. The, I would say is blue toned, but it is an open blue tone, sort of like this. I love the formula of these because they are so pigmented, yet they're not like super matte. They're like a velvety finish. It does give off a blurred lip effect. I'm gonna show it closer. Like, look the difference. So you could definitely build this up. These are super easy to apply and you don't even need a lip liner even with a red shade because it's so soft and blurring. This is the perfect look if you want to go to like a glam holiday party or if you go all glam for the Christmas family thing. I go a little glam to my family thing because um, everyone goes really dressed up. To the Christmas Eve dinner. Christmas dinner, we all look like trash. I actually like every single product that I tried. There is one eyeshadow that I didn't get to use. This is from Kaleo and they have like tons of shades of this. Prism Air. And this is part of their Shadow Sparkling collection. Look how cute that is. It actually reminds me of the Bobbi Brown shadows. Mm. It actually feels sort of like a ColourPop shadow mm. would. Sort of like moist. It looks absolutely mm. gorgeous. This also makes like a really nice inner corner one. Just a little close up of what's going on. I did mess up this inner corner a little bit, but let's, let's look at this one more. These lashes are quite cute. Tell me if you like this video. I really had so much fun shooting this. I still want to do another holiday tutorial that's maybe not as red, but I thought this was something that I really wanted to do, like a monochrome red. And I am so excited that I got to do it with Yesta because again, I love them. Uh, all the links to all the products are going to be down below in the, description, in the description box. They also pay you customs. If you get slapped on with custom taxes, they would fund you on those. So that's a big plus for me. So if you sign up and you start ordering all with the same account, you get points and you get membership levels and you can go up to 10% on everything. And also on top of that, you can add my influencer discount code, which I'm going to slap on the screen. It's also going to be down below, which offers you a little tiny bit off as well um, and I do get a little percentage off it but it's like so minimal so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and don't forget to click the little bell button so you know every single time I'm uploading yeah that's pretty much it I just realized I kind of look like Cruella de Bill I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>